Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're gonna go conga fishing today for the big ones, hopefully. We've got Sam with us. Hell yeah. We got some big old mackerel. We've got the crab pot, we've got the crab wheel, some big lines. We're gonna show you the tackle and stuff here because the wind's absolutely blowing today. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. The rigs we're using today is the good old trusty trot line. And all it is, is about, once I get this unraveled, it's about two foot of 200 pound line with a size 8 -o mustard hook, a big barrel swivel, and then a bit of 15 pound line to a clip swivel. And that is a breakaway, so if the lead gets caught up in the rocks, it will snap off. And what we're baiting up with today, check those puppies out. That's what you call a conga bait. That's a real conga bait. We'll probably cut these in half and use them as half baits. We've got some cottlefish today as well. Some absolute killer baits these for conga reel. And what we're weighing it down with is the, uh, the eco weights that we made. So these will just break up if we lose them and then there's no harm done, no lead in the sea. So we're gonna get down there now. We're gonna bait up the pot, get it thrown out. Hopefully we can get some under underwater footage with the uh, crab wheel, do you wanna show them? We've got the crab weird as well, so hopefully we can pluck a lobster out. Be nice to eat one, eh, dude? Yeah. Hell yeah. So we're gonna get down there now, guys. Conga wars, baby! That's the crab pot down. Sam's rods are already out. So we can quickly bait mine up. Get them down there, baby. Woo. That's the rig all baited up. We just got given some fresh mackerel heads. I'm gonna drop that down now. Got one out already. And hopefully, we can get some. Anticipation. Sam's got a few bites here. The wind's died down a bit, so we were able to film a little bit. Just baiting up a mackerel on an up and over rig. All it is is get your first hook, thread it down the bait so the hook point's exposed, and then give it a good old whipping. I'm trying to block myself from the wind at the moment. It's a nice day for catching some fish, baby. Wind's a bit of a pain, it's right in our face at the moment, so we're trying to hide it, hide the best we can. And second hook, let's go one, two, three, under the throat latch, and out the top of the head. Perfect bait. Another camera mount broken. I think that's the fourth one in a month. <laughs> Decided to put my last one out. So I've got my two 13 footers, both loaded with 30 pound line. And I've got my 12 footer, 25 pound line fixed ball. And they're all out on big baits. The little rod's got the uh, up and over on, and these two got conga rigs. So we've got six rods out in total, spread out around the bay. So hopefully, we can find one. Bites again. There's quite a lot of people on the lighthouse today. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Hit that bad boy. Sam lost his bait. You can see it's all spun up. That's what happens when the eels get on the line. They spin out and the hook pops out if you don't set it properly. Get him next time, eh, mate? Yep. One way not to fish. 
Is it pollen in Shamu? It's 10 minutes of Ealing now. Yeah, it's 10 minutes of pollen in Guernsey. <laughs> Good old Sam to the rescue. <laughs> He's been reeling for 10 minutes. She's hooked into a rock. Sam's just pulled the wheel up and no bait in. So we're gonna rebait it now. Got the GoPro off, so we'll check the footage and see what's come off. See what come and took the bait. Along the lines. <laughs> no, that's good. Pulling the pot up now, guys. Just because the GoPro is going to be dead, we're going to change the battery. Hopefully, we got something in it. Come on. Nothing. That's a shame. Ah. Bait's missing. Oh. Let's we'll see what that is. <laughs> Been a little bit slow so far, eh, mate? Yeah, hopefully it picks up soon, right? Well, that's it. Wind's died down a little bit now. We're just coming to night time, and it's slack water as well. This place usually fishes really well for congas on slack water. But if not, we're going to change location. Hopefully, get so we'll get one somewhere else. It's always good on slack tide. Sam's in. How big? Not a bad one. Flippable. Oh, we're going to give it a go. Oh, then. The big flip. What? Here he comes. <laughs> One nice conga reel. Hell yeah, that's a good start. As always, congas are renowned for taking the hook deep. So we're going to try and get it out as light as we can. We don't want to damage this fish, it's only small. Nice start though, eh mate? Yeah. It's finally coming out. It's always good at, but if, it, if darkness meets slack water, the congas usually come out and fall. Be nice to see a big one. <laughs> Slimy little buggers there. Yeah. We're gonna get the hook out guys, and we're getting released. Bloody hell, he did take that team. What I'm doing guys, what I'm doing guys, I'm trying to find the line so then I can follow it down to the shank of the hook, he's right in his gullet. Mm, I couldn't get it. We're going to cut the line here guys and let the hook rust out, otherwise we're going to end up pulling his stomach out. we do is cut it as close as we can to the hook. Just so it don't, doesn't cause too much 
damage to the fish, it's just the hook left. It will rust out in literally a couple of weeks, it'll be gone. So it's the best chance of this one to survive. Lovely little fish that Sam. Yeah. Do you want to release it? Or do you want me to shock it? I don't mind, go for it. Sam's little fish. Do we get grandma? Woo! Sun's almost gone. We'll be getting the head torches out soon. Nice start mate, well done. Yeah. Hopefully we can get another one. Got some of the fishermen giving us some fresh scad. Absolutely awesome conga baits these are. Awesome little fish. The congas absolutely love them. Got the wheel up now. So what's left of it? <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff. There's loads of little fish. We find the cuckoo rats tend to bite bite the bait off quite quickly as well. And the gobies and blennies that come in. Interesting to see what's down there, eh mate? Yeah, definitely. That's it. Just lost a nice one on this rod. Got it back out now with a fresh scad on. That was a hell of a bend, eh, Sam? Yeah, it was a big bend, big fish. That was a real big one. That one had to be a good 18er for sure. <laughs> Just by the weight of it. You tend to know with congas when you hook into them, your rod will stop and then it'll be like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> come on, we want that big one. Second thing landed of the night. Sam of a bit. An edible crab hooked in the mouth as well. It is hooked in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You get them occasionally. I had some really big ones off here before. Nice. There we go. Nice brown crab. Lovely. Lovely job. Let's get, get it back. It back. <laughs> Cannonball. Hopefully we can give you a good there. Yeah. Yeah. Big, big, big. Big, big. I have to get the gaff. Yeah. That is big. <laughs> Look at the bend of that. That's big. Oh, it's diving. Could be PB. This could be a PB. Oh, there he is! Look at that. That's got to be a twenty. Right, we're gonna walk into the steps, guys, and hopefully you don't pop off. We're we'll getting gaff. Come on, let's go, baby. Careful, mate. Wee! It's getting to the top quick. Woo! Check that out, guys. What? Oh, is my lighter right, mate? Yes, right. Look, check that for a conger eel. It's going to be a little bit of blood. It was hooked in the top of the mouth. This thing will be absolutely fine when we put it back. What an absolute cracker, eh, mate? Lovely fish, mate. Well right, done. Right, we're going to quickly get it weighed, get a few pictures, guys, and we'll get you the release. What a beauty! Woo! All right, get in there, big boy. You'll get him weighed tonight. It's full of life, this one. He nearly pulled my back out when it dived down the wall. <laughs> this one was a real scrapper. There we go. 
We're being quick because we want to get this back as soon as possible. Give it the best chance of surviving. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, she's big. Oh yeah, she's big. She's big. Saying 18. Saying 18? Dead on 18 pound. Oh, beautiful fish. That mate. was a fatty, eh? Oh, what a cracker! Absolutely over the moon. It's my big rod. Right, ready? Yeah. We got another rod going, guys. So I'm going to quickly run down here. We're going to get it released. Woohoo! Conga wars, baby! Oh, I love the conga season. Absolutely brilliant. One last show, one absolutely banger of a conger eel, absolutely over the moon. Right, let's get him in. Whoa. Look at that, what an absolute warrior. Sorry for all the rush to get that one back guys, we want to give the congers the best chance at survival, right, otherwise it would be catch and cook, but I don't fancy that, this is the first episode of Conger Wars. That was the biggest one yet, so why not? 18 pound on the dot. Can't go wrong with that. Let's go get some more. Woo! That eel was caught on the fresh mackerel. I literally just flapped it. Just like this. Go through, cut the bone out. Come on, get it out. I'm rushing because the, the congas seem to be switched on now. That's that's what you call a mackerel flapper. And all I do is just hook it straight through the head, just like so. And that's all you need, just give the conger a bit of time to eat it, or if they're a big one like that, they would just scuff it. And I get that out now, hopefully we can pull some more up. Oh, I'm still shaking, that, that conger nearly pulled my back out. I've never had a conger dive so hard before. That was mental. We catch a nice big conger. Why not reward it with some Chinese, eh mate? Love the chicken balls. That was perfect timing. <laughs> we literally just released that conga and the Chinese called. Got chicken balls, chips, and some cans of Coke. And hopefully, a last minute conga. We still got the crab pot down. So hopefully we can uh, get a nice lobster or something. We never know. Coming to the end of the trip now. It's been a bit of slack for a bit, eh Sam? Yeah, a bit disappointing, but... Yeah, we're going to give it another half an hour, then we're going to pull the lobster pot. Hopefully something in there. But if not, what an absolutely fantastic first Conga Wars episode. Absolutely chuffed with this. Hopefully we can bring up something else. I've had a couple of bites on the end rod, so something might pop yet. That's me and Sam's rods all packed up now. We've got all the old bait here that still got juice left in it. So we're going to use all this for the crab pots. It's not going to go to waste. Sam's going to pull it now. Oh yeah. Let's get that side of you out of the wind. Let's see how many lobs we've got. Hopefully something. Hopefully mate. Yeah, we don't know. It's been down a while. <laughs> the anticipation. Look at the manpower. Hopefully the GoPro's still all right. <laughs> That's been down a while. Yeah. Can't hear anything flapping. No, can't see anything. Oops. Zilch. Bait's gone. That's all for today's episode, guys. What a trip, eh? Yeah, you did well, mate. Uh, it was slow at the start. We didn't really think we were going to catch, to be honest. Uh, eh? It was like, high, you had that little four pounder and the big one eventually came up with the fresh scad. Can't believe that. First episode of Conga Wars. Nothing in the crab pot, but we'll get one. And we'll get something eventually. We'll definitely catch a lobster, eh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for next episode, guys. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, it's at the Guernsey Angler. The link will always be in the description. So stay tuned for next episode. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. It's Smash Fishing.